hamster stuff over here, which I might be getting, but I'm getting gerbils, so. This is kind of cute. there's all this stuff. There's all of these cages. They're all the bad cages. So what cage are you getting? I don't, I don't know. know. I thought they had it here. That one. They have some right here. This one over here is 30. But yes, I'm getting the gerbils. I'll show you guys what gerbils they have. Nobody so the gerbils them. are in here. I don't know if you can see, but there's a really pretty color right there. There was also one that was like half black, half orange. Hopefully we'll be able to see them. We're also getting a hamster. There's one in there. That's in there. There could be one in there. I think there is. And then there's some down there. So We don't know which one we're going to get, but we're going to film safe looking at all of them. That way, who knows which one we're going to get. So, with the gerbils, I don't really know what I'm going to be getting accessory-wise. I already have a couple things at home, but I don't know what I'm going to be getting. I really like these, but they're kind of overpriced. So, if I was going to get one, I'd probably get something like this instead. And, like, some treats, maybe, like, things like these. Oh, and we should get the sister or the brother. <laughs> that, that one looks a little bit like, uh... Boomer. <laughs> you get two hamsters, you do need two separate cages. No, they have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is she need to oh, oh, boy. They're not eat they're, Are they mean? No. Oh, they you have to tame mean. them. Oh, you guys are not. Okay, so for some reason, the footage of me getting my dribbles got lost or deleted somehow. So, sorry about that, I might. This is a temporary cage. I haven't made the one that I'm going to be using. It's probably gonna take a little bit longer to make. So for now, they have this cage, but it's still pretty big for the gerbil. Um, so don't hate on me for that. So the two gerbils I got right here is Francis. He kinda looks like a chipmunk, so it's super cute. And then this is Quasi. He is super cute also. He is all black. And they had one, all orange one. They had one that looked like Francis, which was him, and then they had a bunch of black ones. And I think the one that I picked out was the healthiest, so. So I'm gonna give you guys a temporary cage tour. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna have this cage. Hopefully next time I go to Walmart or something, I can get another bin and hopefully make a bigger cage. So stay tuned for that video. Basically, I am just going to start over here. This is the low grounds area. It's divided by this little wall here. And it's basically hopefully an inch or two of bedding. Not that much. So basically over here, I have the food dish as well as a salt lake. And then here, I have a water bottle, but I already had this metal thing at home. So basically, um, I didn't know it wasn't going to fit. But I mean, it still works, so who cares, right? And I got this wheel. I actually found this was a pretty good wheel. It is silent, it spins great, and plus it fits the gerbils perfectly. If it's not a very good wheel and you guys think I should take it out, let me know because I haven't seen anything where these wheels are bad. I think they're the best wheels that I found at the pet store. So And there's like treats kind of sprinkled around in the cage. I have these treats, which you guys have probably seen these before. And then of course the yogis or yogurt drops. And then I have these tunnels. It kind of is going throughout the whole cage. It kind of stops around this area, but it's still, they love going in it. You'll probably see them go in it throughout this tour, which is good for their teeth. I hope they can chew on it. Plus I have a lot of things they can chew on. This wall is a good one. This log is, and so is this. By the way, this log, I deep boiled this, so it is old, but I did boil it for like 20 minutes, so it should be great. And all of the germs should be gone. Um, if you guys think that I should take this out, let me know because I'm pretty sure this is safe. But like I said, I want to do what's best for the gerbils. So if there's a problem, just let me know. This pine comb. Um, my hamsters love chewing on these, so hopefully the gerbils will too. 
And then of course I have this little crocheted tunnel. I also have this for like my hamsters and mice and they're like crawling through these and chewing on it too. And then last thing I have this little hut which Francis is under. He loves this hut, he's always in it. And as you guys can see they've already made some holes which is great. This is how much bedding I have for them. This is probably about six inches right here. Um, I would have put more bedding but I actually ran out because I made this cage last night and I used my old supplies. So I have something to pet store. Hopefully I can add some more bedding next time I clean it out. But I think it's pretty good for now because they can just easily take some bedding from, from over here. Anyway, so that's Foggy. He's super cute. And then Francis, do you have any comments about this? Or you want, you know, to tell me something, like, just let me know. Just let me know down in the comments below. But also, keep in mind that this is just a temporary cage and that they're not going to be living this in this for the rest of their life. So, yeah. I mean, this is probably like a 30 to 40 gallon container. So, it should be good for right now. But it's temporary. So, I'll see you guys next time.